Hello lovely people, hope you are doing well. It is Christine here from the future. I was editing this vlog and I intended to push it out on Sunday but my schedule just got a little bit crazy and messed up so I've realized that posting on Sunday is not working out for me so I am seeing what would be best and I'm pretty sure a Tuesday upload would be best for me so bear with me as I try to kind of sort my schedule out on YouTube because I really do love this platform and I want to continue posting. It's just getting difficult when I have a ton of stuff I need to get done on the weekends and then I have to sit and edit. So I think a Tuesday upload at 5 p.m. would suit me best so that I'm not rushing and having like an entire day of activity I've planned but I had to edit over the weekend you know what I mean so I'm gonna see how this goes hopefully this will be the day that works I appreciate you being here and your patience and just wanted to get that PSA out there and now enjoy the video sometimes I want to pack up and I'm actually going to go spend a day in Miami. Hang on, let me just like get away from this, this sound. <laughs> okay, so I hope you can hear me, but um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this. But yes, I'm going to take the train down to Miami. Every time I'm home, I'm just home to see my mom, not really to go do stuff, So, and she doesn't like to go down to Miami. So I'm actually taking the train down there spending a day there so I'm excited right now I'm like doing this whole bright line thing that we have here in Fort Lauderdale so it's a train system that connects Palm Beach Fort Lauderdale and Miami to each other and Orlando I think as well so it's super convenient this is the first time I'm doing this train and going to the station and it's so nice it is so hot that like I'm already starting to sweat on my face my face is already starting to get oily so We'll see how I get on with the day. I'm gonna be so gross looking by the end of it. And I curled my hair, but the humidity is already getting to me. So. this European mentality of walking everywhere. So where I'm going, the cafe I'm going to said 20 minute walk. And I thought, yeah, like it'd be nice to cross the bridge and get those views. And um, I'm realizing how like terrible it is to walk in the US. Like it's not bad walking right now. It's just that like kind of unsafe, you know? So, but I'm just kind of like, whatever. I'm on this path already. So I'm going to continue. actually in an area called Brickle and it's like the place to be if you're like a young professional. There's a lot going on here. I never spent much time here when I was younger but if I were to move back home I would definitely be here. Me into stone, but maybe I'd find a new home and maybe I'd never be alone. So I'm just at 
at Br Brickle City Center um, just to cool down a bit, even though it's like all outdoor. <laughs> it beats like walking in the baking sun, so I'm just gonna be here and plan out my next much in that restaurant because the way people were seated it was very close um, proximity so um, but I really enjoyed my meal it was very sweet though it's kind of French toast on a custard sauce that at any given point there are wild chickens that are around Miami. <laughs> so basically I'm in this area called the Underline and it is inspired by what they did in New York with the High Line and other places like Atlanta that they did the Belt Line. So what they've done is tried to re, um, revitalize land and park space underneath the metro mover tracks that are behind me. They've uh, made this whole area lush and green, and made it a, like a nice space to walk. But I think I'm ending the part where they've developed and <laughs> I'm gonna turn back around now. <laughs> I've spoken to you since I got here. So I'm in the design district now, and I'm just going to get some food uh, from this sushi truck over there. Um, got just a spicy tuna roll and uh, lavender lemonade, and it was really, really highly rated. So I said, why not? And then I'm just going to sit outside, and the humidity and heat is just going to make me even more gross than I already am. This area is known for its uh, retail architecture and um, designers really playing with 
uh, how they could really do up the facades of these luxury stores. So it's very much a luxury based area, um, luxury retail. And um, yeah, there's an institute for contemporary art, but actually that's closed. Which I wasn't gonna go to anyway. I'm just not a museum girl, I think. Well, I am, but in London. I, I'm not spending as much time here as I thought I would uh, in the design district. And I'm not sure what I was expecting to see, but um, yeah, I'm gonna eat here. And there's an ice cream shop that's down the street that I want to check out. So I'm gonna do that after as well. All of this cost me near $30. And this is something I could literally get at my local grocery store for like $10. interesting because I haven't spent a long I haven't there hasn't been a day in a long time where I spent a really long time here I think because I've not lived here for 10 plus years um, a lot of things have changed but a lot has stayed the same it's so interesting because I think I just from the day that I've had trying to get around public transportation and by foot and it's really hard like as we know because you know the American system prioritizes the car but it just it, sometimes it's so frustrating because you see that a city has like really good infrastructure to have a really robust public transportation system and it's just like not there so what I feel like Miami could really do like if they had like a really strong public transportation system I mean this city would like explode it would be I mean there's already a lot of people here um, and I think it would get even greater and you know obviously it's spread out and stuff but it could like become more dense um, I'm rambling on that point but um, yeah just some thoughts from revisiting from when I was younger to now and my mom is always trying to get me to move back and um, just from my glimpse of what life is like here just on a day I just I don't know, I, I always felt like I required more. There's, there's not much for me here. And I don't know what I would do like going to other places. Like I'm like, I could discover things near me, but it's not the same as like going to a new country that's like a cheap flight away. I would probably go to Key West or I, if I was living here, I can't, I'm not allowed to go to Cuba, I think. I don't know, something like that. And so I'd have the Caribbean and South American access to that and stuff, but like, I don't know, London is more of my base, and I don't think I would move back here for a very long time, so, um, yeah, but I love, I love it, I, I think the lifestyle is great, it's just not for me.
get to the Bright Line station. So I will leave it here. Thanks so much. <laughs> Some more chickens. I'm going to leave this here. I'm about to reach the station. So I've shown you now just a little snippet of a wholesome day in Miami. A lot of things open at like three or four in preparation for the evening because it's you know it's very nightlife based but I clearly am not doing that so and it was very expensive if you're coming down here just keep in mind that costs are pretty high so I will leave it here and um, see you next time